what's up guys this is semi 9542 and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Android Jelly Bean 4.3 firmware on Samsung Galaxy like S3 international version I already have the video of Jelly Bean 4.3 on my channel but some people reported me that it's too buggy uh, it's not working properly some applications like music player are stopping while playing music and this and that and many problems uh, so I come up with this firmware which is official uh, firmware release for India uh, and it's very stable so uh, to install this firmware we have to uh, put your phone in download mode uh, so for putting us uh, putting our phone in download mode we have to press volume down key home key and power key simultaneously so let's do it make sure your battery at least 85 percent charged or above 85 80 percent so let's start uh, by pressing volume down key home key and power key Okay, press volume up and connect your phone to your PC via USB cable. And then come to your PC. Okay, guys, after coming to your PC, just make sure you have these two files, uh, which are already the links given in the description. The first is Orin, and the second is the firmware. So, first of all, you have to extract the Orin uh, .rar file to WinRAR. You have to download the WinRAR software for that. So, I'm going to extract the Orin server. Okay and then uh, extract this firmware ok guys i have extracted the both files uh, what, you, uh, what you have to do is open the orin 307 folder open the orin uh, version 3.07.exe ok uh, so what you have to do here is click on the pda option and select the folder that we have extract, where we extract the firmware Okay, select this file, md5 file, open, uh, we are already checking this file, after checking this computer, you have to just hit the start button. Okay, the file is successfully checked, you have to just hit the start button. Okay, before you uh, hit the start button, make sure you uh, already showing idcom this blue box, because it's very necessary, uh, if it's not showing the blue box, then you have not installed the Samsung drivers. Don't worry, I will put the link in the description also. Right? So, the start button. Wait for some minutes. Okay, the process has just started, guys. So, wait for some minutes. I will complete. Uh, don't touch anything here until the process is complete. Okay. Okay guys, the process is about to complete. It's almost completed now. Okay, the process is completed, just go to Orin and connect your device. Okay, after this, after coming to your device, uh, your device will boot up uh, and it will take some time for the first boot and you have to wait almost uh, 4 to 5 minutes so, so I'm going to fast forward this video. Okay. So you can now disconnect the cable from your phone.
Okay guys, this device is successfully boot up, so what you have to do now is go to settings and factory reset your phone. So go to settings, more, sorry, accounts, backup and reset, I hit the factory data reset. So press reset device. So that's it guys, this is for this video and in the next video I'm going to show you something more interesting. I'm uh, coming with another firmware, with another phone, so stay tuned and keep watching Samina 542. Thanks.